Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Evolution Bludgeon. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Bludgeon both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Bludgeon looks really good and very colorful. With the orange, green, and burgundy, there's no doubt that that's Bludgeon. Taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start here with the head. I have a love-hate relationship with this head sculpt. I think it looks really, really good, but I'm more of a fan of the G1 skull look. The helmet is nice burgundy collar. We've got some silver accents right there in the crest and along the sides, a silver face, and I really like the red inside the eyes and the mouth. Moving on down to the chest, it's orange with some translucent bits here and there. Purple Decepticon insignia there, got some silver highlights. The abs are silver with translucent orange. Moving on down to the waist, which is green. Legs are gray, orange knees, burgundy and green for the shins, and big old orange feet. The arms are mostly the treads from the vehicle mode and they have a burgundy forearm and with a green side section there. And let's see, on the back, we do have his cannons, which are black, silver, translucent orange, and regular orange. Now I'm gonna also show off Bludgeon's sword right here because I know it gets some decals. It's actually done really good, lots of sculpted details throughout, and a burgundy handle. So, there you go guys, bludgeon in robot mode before. Let me give you a piece of advice when it comes to applying the decals on bludgeon's tracks. You want to go in order that they are on the decal sheet. For example, right here at the very bottom, this is where you start. As you can see, there's three rows, one, two, three, they coincide with the treads. So, this little section right here is these little ones on the side. These ones here are right there in the middle. And this section here goes there. And you want to go up. For example, that's the first one that goes there. Second, there. So just do that all the way around. And these decals will line up perfectly. And after. And holy crap, what a difference Toy Hacks made for Legacy Bludgeon. Now, of course, the first decals you're noticing are these new tread decals that go over every inch of tank tread on this figure. The tank treads here inside the chest and the ones that make up the shoulders. And I mean, they go all the way around. That was a very tedious process, but man, the end result is fantastic. I love that. Taking a closer look at the head sculpt, we've got new decals for the horns and new eye decals. I went with a black with a little red dot in the center. You do have options. You have all plain red right there. But I like the sunken in eyes with the red. It just makes him gives him more of a skull look. Now here on the chest, you get new decals right here. Orange with a gold stripe on both sides a black decal that covers up the translucent orange new decal here for the center of the chest a new decepticon insignia right there for the center of the chest once again you do have options you have the decepticon insignia or the yellow decal with the red triangle you also have new decals right here that highlight these little sections here on the chest new red decals here for the circles new red decals right here for the ab area 
Moving on down to his waist, you get a new decal right there, which you also have another option for if I can find it. Yeah, right here, you have the option for a Decepticon insignia loincloth. So I went with plain since I already have the insignia right there. A red and ye yellow decal right there on the leg part of the waist. Moving on down, you get new decals for the knees. On the legs, you get yellow decals right here. New decals right there for the ankles. Decals for the feet, you got this red triangle. Gray section here, and on the side of the feet is a gray section with a red triangle and more decals to look like the treads. Trying to see if I missed anything. Right here on the forearm, decal there, and yellow decal right there. So man, they did such a good job on bludgeon now let's bring in the sword as i said earlier it also got decals you got a black decal right here on the base of the sword with these little yellow decals inside so that looks really good so there you go guys bludgeon in robot mode after in vehicle mode straight out of the packaging there's really nothing new to be seen that we didn't already see in bludgeon's robot mode aside from the vehicle's tracks. You got the black there for the treads and silver for the center. The rest of the vehicle is the burgundy orange and green that we've already seen. We've got some translucent details right there along this section here that was Bludgeon's back. You can see the cannons a lot better now with the black, silver, translucent orange and orange. And let's see, the front of the vehicle is Bludgeon's robot chest. And really, that's about it. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this looks after the Toy Hacks treatment. So there you go, guys. Bludgeon in vehicle mode before and after. Now, we've seen all of the decals before in Bludgeon's robot mode, but they do carry over very well in vehicle mode, especially here with the treads that go all the way around. I absolutely love those. Then you've got the robot chest which is the front end of the tank tank specific decals would be the ones here on the cannons we've got black stripes here that cover the translucent orange on the barrel a black stripe here on this side black stripes there and there and silver accents on the tip of this barrel so all in all i mean they're the robot mode decals but they work so well in tank too now here's something I didn't even notice when I did my full review of Bludgeon or Tarn is the molded in blasters right there on the side. I saw that when I was applying those decals right there on the foot. I think that's awesome. I can't believe I missed that. So there you go guys, Bludgeon in vehicle mode after. Toy Hacks did an amazing job with Transformers Legacy Evolution Bludgeon. This looks like a completely different figure now. A much better color scheme, and he just pops, man. I love this guy. He looks so good. This decal set is a lot of work, but man, the end results are spectacular. So if you have a Transformers Legacy Evolution Bludgeon, I highly recommend this decal set from ToyHacks.com. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members because it is your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!